President is now sharing his stories and lessons from Ukraine. He was there for a volunteer trip where he helped to perform surgeries. NBC 29's Bria Stith has the inside look at what life is like in the war-torn country. Dr. Connor Berlin was in Ukraine for a little more than two weeks. I've always said if there's something I'm good at that I can use to help other people, I'm going to do it. And um, I think there is a unique opening there to help people um, in a very meaningful way. He says things seem to be getting worse for people caught up in the Russian conflict. And the conflict is only escalating and the injuries and the casualties are only getting higher right now. Berlin and the neurosurgery trauma team he worked with manage combat injuries at night and select civilian cases during the day. You know, there's a war going on, but um, people still need neurosurgery. So brain tumors that are, you know, compressing the brain stem and, um, you know, uh, different things that just can't wait you know, or they would take somebody's lives, like they have to just keep operating. And while operating, Berlin says Ukraine hospitals have almost no medical waste, but for a sad reason. Which I think is unbelievable. In the U.S., the operating room, everything is single use, we throw it out. You know, we, we might give them like, a, you know, 100 drill bits, um, and they're going to use the same one and re-sterilize it until it breaks because they don't know when they're going to get the next shipment from the U.S. Um, the supply chains just aren't there. He says you can help Ukraine without entering the war zone by donating to medical charities. Anything counts. Bria Stith, NBC 29 News.